Hello everyone and welcome to Celestial Revival. I'm Celestial and this is a new channel that I've started just to expand on some things that I do on my Facebook page. You can find me on Facebook by simply typing Celestial Revival um, into the search bar. You won't find anybody else with that name. So I've got two pages. Uh, I've got my Facebook personal profile under Celestial Revival. And I also have uh, a, a more, what can I say, a more structured page that goes by the same name. So look me up on Celestial Revival if you aren't already following me and you can follow me there. I also have a blog the master's voice. That's a prophecy blog where I share forth, um, the prophetic words that the Lord has given me over the last eight years for the United States and also for other nations concerning other phenomena and things that the Lord wants his church to know. So you're welcome to this channel. I started this channel because, um, a lot of people on Facebook, when I post the prophecies or when I post teachings, a lot of people inbox me or email me and ask, what can I do about this aspect of my Christian walk? I want to take it deeper. I want to know God more. I'm doing this in my life. Is this the right thing that I should be doing? And um, while I'm not one to prescribe how we should practice our Christianity, I think that what God is looking for in this time is authenticity. Um you have to be real with this faith. You you can't have it like something separate from yourself. Oh, you know, this is my Christian self. And then this is my self self. Christianity for me is what I am. It's who I am. It's the life of God expressed uniquely through me. And I think that that's what God wants from us as a father. I think that's what the Lord is looking for from each of us as a king. You know, God wants us to be devout. Yes, God wants us absolutely to be focused on him. God wants to be the first thing in your life. Brothers and sisters, if, if you have a structured life where it's your family or your business, or if there's anything that's inserting itself between that closeness that you have with God, if there's anything in your life at all, your child, your spouse, your relationship, your money, if there's anything in your life that is exalting itself above closeness and oneness with Christ, then you're going to find it difficult. You're going to find it hard to really press into the presence of God because God is very passionate. God is jealous for our attention and God wants to be the first and foremost thing in our life. And so I, I find a lot of people uh, commenting on my posts on Facebook and saying, this is real, you know, this is the realness. And um, I just want to say that's because um, it's, it's the authentic expression of Christ Jesus in and through me. I'm comfortable in the identity that God has given me. I'm comfortable in what God has called me to be. I'm not trying to be anything more than that. And I definitely do not intend to allow the enemy, the oppression, or even this world, even this difficult and un unsteady world that we're in right now. I'm comfortable and I definitely don't intend to allow the world to express to me what I should be. Abba has called me, the Father has called me to be a vessel that brings forth his messages to his people. And as long as he continues giving me those messages, I'm going to bring them, whether there's one person on this channel, 50 people, 500 people, however many it may be. I only moved um, very recently into making videos. Uh, I've been running uh, the Prophecy blog for, I would say, a year and a half, since May, May 2019. So there's definitely um, footprint. There's definitely an online footprint there. You know, there's traction there. The blog has visitors from all over the world. You know, I get p people from India, from Pakistan. I get people from Russia, China, Canada, you know, Europe. Um, there's lots of people following the blog and I understand that there's a hunger in the world today to know what exactly is God saying in the prophetic space. But brothers and sisters, apart from that, uh, we as Christians need to know what God is saying on a day-to-day -day basis. We need to know what's in the heart of God for ourselves. We need to be able to, to say, good morning, Lord. I'm here to practice the rhythms of grace in your presence. I'm here to read the word. I'm here to just love on you. And I'm here with the full expectation, God, that you love me too. I'm here to hear from you, God. I'm here to experience um, something that I can't get from anywhere else. I can't get the kind of love from God that I can get from a husband or a child or a well done at work. There's no project 
for instance, that I could ever execute that could give me the praise and the love that comes from knowing that the one who died for me accepts me and wants me. So this channel is just going to be um, sharing tips from my Bible study, is going to be sharing tips from my um, how I pursue the Lord. I am passionate for Jesus. Anybody who knows me um, knows that it's Jesus first, Jesus always, and Jesus as this beautiful thread that runs through everything that I do in this um, short life. So you're welcome to Celestial Revival um, YouTube channel. And I hope to be back here with more videos and um, let's do this. God bless you.